I geared up my palette and I actually could. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations, and in today's live stream, we're opening mail first and foremost. We're being merfish people, um, <laughs> and uh, answering any questions that you guys have, and all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to wait until some folks get in before opening up the mail. Let's kick him. part of our group. Yeah. We're going to kick you. Hi, talk about wow. Yeah, Randy and Azmuth are rudely <laughs> talking in the background. <laughs> hey, hey, Renee. Hi, wow people. I'm Laris number 1599 if you want to add me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are you pugging in my live stream? <laughs> yes. Plugging. Plugging. Yeah. Plugging, plugging, plugging. Okay, it is so. A bit of a raid. We're going to start with, I'm just double checking a few things, oh gonna making sure I'm under the right gonna, channel. Gonna, hey, Christina. I don't care. You can deny them. How do I I might deny see? you. <laughs> hey, Randy, am hey, I logged into my channel? On the phone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just check. You want me to triple check? Yeah, if you could triple check. Okay, fine. Yep. I'm sending Judy a message. Sending out Three people a notification that we're live because I don't think YouTube's doing it. <clears throat> what? Oh, and I clicked stuff on the screen and I don't know how to get rid of it. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> how do I? Oh, I don't get to check it. Okay, so hey, everybody. Um, I'm going to start with this one. This one's from my friend Pamela. I know. Four people. Four people. You can also add me on a breezy. <laughs> <laughs> Horse side. <laughs> I actually am curious to see if anybody even does. Oh, it was a Christmas card. Hey, Kristen. That's how's it late. going? Ah, hmm? That's kind of late. Well, it's, it got here last week. Oh. <laughs> Oh, really? Kristen says packages are coming for you. Thanks a lot, USPS. They're coming to get us. Yeah, USPS. Well, say, hey, Christina. The packages next to you. Right? Yeah, no, we've got quite a bit of mail to open today. <laughs> oh, well, thanks, Kristen. Uh, Pam says, Vaughn, I love watching you. I've learned a lot. You and Randy make my day when I don't feel good. I watch you, and then I have a great day after watching. Oh, it's on the card. Yeah, no, no, it's like, not. I don't see that. Thank you so much, Pam. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> Dana says, I love your crown. Here, if you could uh, put that with the other ones. I finally made it towards the beginning. <laughs> hmm? I finally made it near the beginning. Hey, Scarla. And also, did YouTube send out notifications to you guys? Not to me. Randy hasn't gotten a notification yet. Thank you, Christina. Yeah, it's, I'm going to be showing some tutorials on how to make um, some mer mermaid crowns. How do it? Howing to make. Howing, 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 howing do. How do. Um, crowns. So this is another Hi, one Hi, that. <laughs> five, out of seven five solid five out of seven. Y'all are seriously. Real. I'm Give you kisses. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so everybody tell your friends that we're live streaming because YouTube's not telling. Ooh, and this one's from Pam. I really wanna, I really wanna wait for Pam to come before opening. So while we only have a few people in here and I can give you my undivided attention, does anybody have any questions or anything? It usually takes about 20 minutes to get the notifications for me right on. Hey, peddlers! <laughs> yeah, another live stream. And I'm experimenting with my sea crowns today. I really like this one, but I made it on a really thin base. Like this one's 5 millimeter foam. And then this one is on 10 millimeter foam. So you can see, and it's much more like stiff and rigid. Do you Kristen want to show says, them the horns you? <laughs> yeah, I'll show them. 
Uh, Your secret candy. It's a secret. It's a secret. Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kristen says a package should be coming for you on Thursday. I'll keep an eye yeah. out for it. I mentioned that she left a message for me too. To oh yeah. You, and I did tell you. Oh, okay. If you weren't listening when I told oh, you. Oops. <laughs> thanks, Kristen. Um. Oh, thanks, Corinne. It's good to see you in here. Peddler asks, what is the bare minimum to dual jewelry making, tools and supplies? Um, the bare minimum, like the stuff that I take with me to shows when it's like we're going to be doing work, but I can't bring a bunch of stuff. Um, wire cutters, uh, round nose pliers, bent nose pliers. Curly nose pliers. Curly nose, no, there's no curly nose pliers. Uh, nylon jaw pliers, if you want to splurge a bit. Um, and then some wire, like those three pliers, uh, 18 gauge and 26 gauge wire. You can make just about anything that I do here on my channel, except for chain mail. If you want to do chain mail, get some, uh, flat nose pliers and add that to the kit and then you're good. Chain nose pliers, chain nose pliers paper clips, big ones, these ones. <laughs> Thank you, Esme. <laughs> Uh, I would like for you to open it when I'm in live stream. Okay, Kristen. Well, we're going to be doing the mail openings on Tuesdays. So a week from now, I'll be opening it up. Assuming it gets here. Oh, it's supposed to get here on Thursday. Assuming it gets here. Why you got to be negative? I'm just saying. USPS has been doing a pretty decent yes, job. Yes, but I'm also saying things happen. Okay. Not if it's not here, we'll let you know. Oh, right on. Peddler says, awesome, I signed up for a Patreon chain mail kit. So we also, we haven't shipped out this month's Patreon orders yet. We'll be getting them out before Thursday because um, we're leaving for Tennessee on Thursday. So Scarla says, I did get email notification for this live stream. What? Right on. I still haven't. Brandy still hasn't. Nobody's got notifications. Oh, no, I have an appointment at 2 p.m. on Tuesday the 16th. Well, it's lately I've been running really late, um, <laughs> and uh, so we might be getting on a little bit later. And I, we'll just hang out and wait until you get in. Peddler says, if I wanted this month's, could I get it by PayPaling you? Um, when did they pledge? No man's here. Might be some barking dogs. I don't know. Because if they've already taken if, if you want, if you have, if the money's been taken out of your bank account by Patreon, you're getting one for this month. If you want one for this month, but if you just, signed up after the fifth. yeah, if you signed up just this month and they haven't taken out, um, you could go ahead and PayPal me. Normally we don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's, they say just signed up a couple days ago. They said it would start February 1st. Oh, okay. If you PayPal me, just be sure to, uh, leave a note with your shipping address and for what tier you would like. Only for this one person. But this is just for you, just this one time, because I'm really bad at keeping track of um, of that stuff. Like, I'm not good at keeping, like, keeping it sorted out. <laughs> okay, thanks, Kristen. We'll be sure. And it's, Brandon just, he's my disclaimer always. It's like, um, We'll be doing this. It's like, yeah, we'll do this. And Randy's like, ways. if everything goes according to plan, which it typically doesn't. But um, Peddler, my PayPal is backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com. Do we have a PayPal thing set up? No. No. But p they can just put yeah. in my email and send it. Yeah. So. so I Kristen says, what area code is 818? I have no idea. You'll have to ask Google on that one. So I'm going to open up another package. Ooh, this is from Concrete Canvas Systems. I'm suspicious. This might be from who I think it's from. Oh, yeah. Huh. I had said mail, and it's like, here's your PO box number. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, hey, Zoe. Zoe says 818 is Los Angeles. <gasps> Judy! It's here! What's that? Black diamond pigment powder, turquoise diamond effect. Oh, make a powder pigment for epoxy, resin, soap, plasti dip. Y'all. Can I put it? If it's for soap, I can put it on my face, right? Please don't put that on your face right now. Just a little bit? No. Oh. Mm. 
But I want to. <laughs> Randy's like, fine, don't listen to me. Christina says, kids are home from school. I'll check you later. It was good to see you. Bye, Christina. <laughs> I'm not going to put, gonna put it on my face, but I am going to open it. Because oh, okay. I want everybody to see. Like, what, do you want to live forever? Oh, <laughs> y'all, that color is oh, perfect. I've never used Prolex from anyone other than, um, I've never used these makeup pigments from anyone other than Prolex, though. Ah, Karen, hey, Karen. She says, hi, Vaughn. I was at Walmart and saw the perfect coffee cup for you, Vaughn. It was the biggest coffee cup I've ever seen. <laughs> Phoenix asks, um, I don't know, anything much bigger than this, and I can't drink it while it's still hot. Uh, <laughs> hey Florence, happy new year to you in France too. Uh, Phoenix asks, where did you get the mannequin you use for your cosplay? My mom got it at a yard sale and I took it from her. <laughs> um, <laughs> like basically is what happened. She wasn't using it like at that moment. So I was like, mine. Hey Lisa. No, we just got started. I don't know if YouTube is sending out notifications because I haven't seen a lot of our regulars here yet. So that y'all are starting to trickle in. So it's been nice to have kind of a smaller group and <clears throat> hang out with you guys. <laughs> you can put it on your face if it says cosmetic grade on the label. Let me look at the label. Well, the only label really is that part right there. But let's see what it says. I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google the product and see if they have more information about it um, on their website because that way I can know whether or not to be able to use it because I'm going to be doing body painting and stuff to go along with this. Oh, no, Karen, these are the same glasses as I always wear. Um, and uh, I don't know. I did my makeup and my hair. Oh, yeah, and I'm a fish mermaid today. So, <laughs> that might be what you're doing. <laughs> Sorry. What you doing, Randy? Reading the comments. What you doing? I'm feeling awkward. <clears throat> hey, Judy. <gasps> Judy! <laughs> Do you know if this is cosmetic grade? Because I want to put it on my I'll skin. I'll my independent research. Oh, hey, person. <laughs> Judy was the one who... I know. Who... <laughs> Purchased it for you. me. Yeah, so. I know. I Why you gotta sass me, Randy? <laughs> it's another sassy day. It is another sassy day. <laughs> you like, so. I, I feel like staring at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it doesn't say on the label. You can see here. Turquoise diamond effect, makeup powder pigment, epoxy resin soap, plasti dip, black diamond pigments by CCS. New item. Didn't say on the bottom either, but man. Because I'm really hoping if I can use this to like um, dust on for like the mermaid scales on my skin, that would be amazing. Kristen says, it's your late Christmas presents coming. It's more than one pages. Oh, wow. Okay. Think new shade. What's new shade? That's their new color. New shade. Oh, new shade. Oh, okay. <laughs> Packages, not pages. Okay. Uh, Peddler says, "What is your favorite geek thing? What is Randy's?" I don't know. Do you want to come sit by me? I, I miss I you way lots you. though. You're so far away over there. Um, oh, I can't reach you. <laughs> Um, Randy likes video games. Yeah, is that a geek thing? I guess. I don't know, it's a normal for us. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, Randy plays a lot of video games and he also really likes, um, going to the movies. Dirt Burr. Yeah. Dirt Burr? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, yeah. But I wouldn't consider you an anime fan. As much as I would consider you a anime, gamer. Classic anime connoisseur. Classic anime connoisseur says, <clears throat> it says non-toxic and can be used on the skin. Thank you guys. I can't Google it right now because I don't want to have my face in the phone. So can I put just a little on my skin? They said it was safe. Go for it. <laughs> Fun. I'm trying to figure out what kind of cane to do for Valentine's Day. Do you have any suggestions? Like rose canes or heart canes? Or little flower canes, like other Strawberry stuff. Snickles. Do what? Strawberry 
Strawberry <laughs> Smeggles. Smickles. What's Smickles? Oh, the can, yeah, the cereal? cereal. Yeah. So I'm getting just a little bit on my finger, and I'm going to do... Oh, it's so sparkly. And if that part of my face falls off, then we'll know. But I put on the makeup from Lauren today. Look at how... It shimmers out to such a beautiful light blue. Highlighter. Nice. <laughs> so the lighting's not the best for it right now, but we'll cover myself in it later. <laughs> Kristen says, I recently started playing my Nintendo 3DS. Um, and then, ooh. My boyfriend and I started playing Ark Evolved Survival. It's mind-boggling. I haven't heard anything about that. Um, and then to answer the other half of the question, probably my favorite geeky thing is dressing up in costumes. Like, or making them. I like making them more than wearing them, honestly, but I think that's just because I have more experience with that. But um, I really like wearing them, too. Like, kind of dressing up and... I don't know, like fantasy animals and stuff, <laughs> like things like that. Teresa asks, mm -hmm. if you could do anything one day, money not being an option, what would it be? <sighs> Take a vacation. <laughs> no, um, if I could do anything, money not being an option, um, I'd want to get into metal smithing, uh, like, like man at arms style, kind of, where they can make like big things and all that equipment is so expensive and the amount of time that it cuts out of the process is really a game changer um do oh really that's what i normally do though um but uh getting into metal smithing and like silver casting and doing things that um because there's only so much you can do with wire wrapping I want to take that next step into being able to cast like a metal base that I can then do decorative wire wrapping around, but not having to worry about having the wire wrapping itself be structural, if that makes sense. Do you watch Forged in Fire? It's so good. I think I might have seen some of their, uh, are they here on YouTube, Forged in Fire? Oh, thanks Peddler, said PayPal sent. We'll be sure to get that sent out to you then with the rest of the uh, patron orders. I am as well, but I put that... Ooh. History Channel. Okay. I don't know. We don't get live television, so I don't really see a whole lot of stuff. But normally, we'll catch a bunch of different things. Like, uh, people will show videos on, like, Facebook and stuff. History Channel. Okay, I'm going to open another package. Because I can't hardly wait. I mean, the Squatch Channel. The Squatch Channel. <laughs> going to go hunting Squatches. <laughs> Hey, Jamie. How are you doing today? I'm trying to find... I guess I'll just use scissors. This one is from Ella. Ella, are you in here? Ella. 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 <laughs> I've derped and don't know how to... Oh, that's an umbrella. Huh? Huh? Who's umbrella? The song you're listening to. Oh. I'm getting another package of... Okay, Kristen. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'll definitely keep an eye out. But yeah, the post office is really great about if our uh, P.O. box overflows. <gasps> well, first off, they wrapped it in the funny papers. Hey, Wendy. Wendy, hope you're well and having fun. I'm having a really good day so far. We woke up like half an hour ago. <gasps> what on earth is this? Ella? Do what? Yeah, we got it two hours ago. Really? Yeah. Okay, so this is actually some repair work oh, that I get say, to that's, do. That's this is a piece that I made and I sized it down too much and had to re-extend it. So I'm going to remake the leather base. So, cause this kind of shifts around funny and we don't like that. So I get to remake the base for it and then send it back to her. So this is what I mean whenever I tell people we do the lifetime resize and repairs on all of our work. I'm going to put this back into Ella's box so I still have her shipping address. So I'll probably... Set it on the trash can. Do what? Then so you're going to set it on the trash can. I'm like, that's a bad idea. Straight into the trash. No. <laughs> Does Azmuth have his own channel? Uh, yeah. Randy is trying to make a link to it right now. 
Um, and you can go over and check him out. He does a lot of, uh, like, nature hike stuff and cosplay and on his, like, farm and all sorts of stuff. So there's no telling where it might go now that he's living with yeah. us, too. There's asthma There's asthma Right channel. now I do a lot of uh, just nature noises, like background stuff. Nature noises. It's I it's nice for been, chilling out, too. That's what I have in my uh, repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> you been doing in the attic? Just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> is it really you sitting around making the noises? No. Oh, so it's like, so those I go are on, really good. <laughs> I, go, I, go, I go on Cornell Ornithology uh -huh. and rip. You're believing me. Oh, <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, no, well, I ask. Get help. Get help. Hey, Dante. <laughs> You're wrong. Get help. Okay, so this one is from rosecreektreasures.com in North Carolina. <laughs> Azimuth makes great cricket noises at night, right? Well, because I went up there the other day and I was like, well, like, I was walking by the door to his room in the attic, and, um, and I heard, like, tweeting, and so I knocked on the door and I was like, Azimuth, what is that? <laughs> I didn't know it was him tweeting. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> sure. I was trying to identify a bird. Okay. So I was on, I was on Cornell, looking at the bird ID. <laughs> See, now I can't tell. Are you being honest? Or... I don't know, Emily. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. It was a flute player. I could whistle up a storm. I played the flute. Actually, I can't. can't. Actually, I can't whistle. Oh, really? Because I played the flute. Right? I trained myself never to whistle. The rack. What are these? <gasps> what in tarnation is this? What in tarnation? What in tarnation is this? If I take the end of it will be. I subscribe to him. Thanks. So well, thank you, Phoenix. The word name is not a bad word. <laughs> Love your crown and glory. Thank you, Murphy. I'm test wearing it to see how I hold up to the weight and to the movement. And it looks like it's not so bad. This one's much lighter than the one that you were yeah, wearing. I was wearing that one there. Yeah, it's giant. Like yeah. that one has like, like solid clay yeah. starfish <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. So I think this is going to be a good size shape. And, yeah. This guy is heavy. Do you want to wear it? And we can get video of you wearing it? I don't know, it's kind of... It be yeah. bites down onto the temples pretty bad. Mm -hmm. That's where it was giving me a headache. Mine's back here. Mm. Behind your ears. <laughs> Use a pretty princess, Randy. You're a glorious not. princess, though, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for your outfit, Vaughn? Hi, Randy Dandy. Um, This one isn't... Because I didn't get video of me making it. And I was like, I want to get video of all the ones that I make. But this one's actually going to be for sale. Okay. Uh, either in my booth or on Etsy. Right <laughs> but I'm going to open this. Ooh, it feels like a rock. Are you a rock? <gasps> Are you a rock? It's a rock. Hey, it's a rock. Rock, rock, oh, rock. Right up in there. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it looks like it was quartz, a quartz druzy that they put the titanium yeah. like plating on. It is beautiful. It is so sparkly, I could die. <sighs> yeah, the camera does not do it justice. Mm -mm. Oh my god, this is like alive with like golds and greens and blues and purples. I'm gonna steal that. <sighs> it's going up to my room. There's another one in the package. <laughs> Let's open it. Which, speaking of which, y'all are going to have to get over here and help me open up these packages from Jim. Yeah, you get to open the packages. Because he sent okay. three packages, so we all get to open one. Because okay. <laughs> all of them say to the three of us, bubble wrap. So I don't know which one is to who. Ooh. <gasps> this one's mine. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> I seen it first. I seen it first. No, Brandy saw it first. That's I was, what I said. I was playing with the bubble wrap. <gasps> y'all... Bigger crystals, it shows off the colors a little better. Okay, what's this? Peddler says, we ever find out what was in the Amazon box of Randy's from last week? No. The, we can't tell them? It's a surprise for our patrons. <laughs> Y'all stop fighting, they said, right? <laughs> There's so much conflict in the house this morning. Or, it's like three in the afternoon, never mind. That's so pretty. I can't even talk, so you'll you'll get it. <laughs> Peddler's like, I'm a patron now. 
and Randy. Mm. We have more bubble wrap. Oh boy. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. I want, I want the bags. Bags of bubble wrap? The bags of the zipper. Oh. Okay. Are you hoarding Ziploc bags again? You <laughs> no. can sit in the background. You don't have wanna. to stand in the corner. We'll take your bench over there. <laughs> As if it's just standing in the corner, like. <laughs> Not to rain on your parade. No, use it for my ears. It's raining here. What's going on? Who's raining on my parade? Here. Poor as Vaughn, did you see what I said? I didn't, Dante. Let me scroll up a bit. Can you repost it, Dante? I'm not seeing it. Oh, wait, there it is. So I could put them on my wall so that way. I can keep them in sight when I'm not using them, and so they don't get damaged. That's awesome, Dante. I'm so glad that you like them. <laughs> and we have an awesome box. This is a really nice box. That's a priority box. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Melissa says, Seed Party! Seed Party? Yeah, she got her Baker's Creek. Oh, you gotta stay why party. can't Asma sit down? Randy got his chair. Randy and Asbeth have been hiding my seed catalogs from me. Yeah. <laughs> like, they straight up have. Like, yeah, we have. <laughs> it's no secret. The cruelty. No. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's so mean. It is, Melissa. It's horrible. Now, this one is all the way from the Netherlands. Um, from Slary in the Netherlands is as Randy's new plebe. What's a plebe? What's a pleb? P L E E B. Is that like a plumbus? A plumbus? Am I a new plumb? I am not a plumbus. Rand or sure? Asmith is our sure. new household plumbus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not a plumbus. Asmith is our new. <laughs> you don't have any say in this. Yeah. You don't have any say in this. You're plumbus. You don't have rights. <laughs> well, if that was the case, everyone would have one. Mm. Y'all, look at that. What is it? It's beautiful. It's like a little baby angel fairy oh, thing ooh. with little feet. Yeah, look at oh, How do I open it? And I got, do I untie the bow? I have to untie the bow to open it. Gosh, and it's so sparkly. She's kissing the little, is that a dandelion tuft? Or a little snowball flowers? Plead, boy. Plead, boy? No. Asmuth is not a plead minion or do boy. No. Asmuth is actually here to knock us into line. Um, to make us behave and keep the house clean and do our chores and stuff. So he's basically like our butler slash nanny. So like he helps out around the house, but he mostly tells us what to do. <laughs> so I'm going to open it. <gasps> this is witchcraft. Oh my gosh. That's not even English. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's beautiful. <laughs> Enjoy your days with a little sparkly note. Hi, Yvonne and Randy. My promise to you a handmade and self-colored card. Here it is. I hope that 2018 is going to be an awesome year for you and Randy. From YouTube watcher Mary from the Netherlands. Happy New Year. This is so cool. You handmade it? I mean, clearly it's the... Oh my God. I'm going to put this with my other fairy one. And it's got feathers. Where is it? Uh, so the other one with the fairy is there on the shelf behind the uh, clay softener. Oh. Super cool, though. Like, that's for as much crafty stuff as I do. I have a huge amount of respect for... I. <laughs> Yvonne has grown as... Can I borrow him? Yvonne needs a crown in every color. <laughs> right? <laughs> Christmas, my husband got me some perfume and a tin, and I love the tin so much, I kept going on about it. And now it's the tin for my clay. <laughs> Whoops, you guys went out of line, right? She's sending a wish. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Good morning, Brett. <laughs> afternoon. Mm-hmm. Afternoon. Oh, it's morning somewhere, surely. And, Mary, the, the card arrived in perfect condition. It, nothing was smushed or out of place at all. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So do y'all want to get over here? We're to Jim's. We're to Jim's? Yep. I'm going to save uh, Pam's for whenever she's in here. Nah, all right. <laughs> Let's go over here, guys. 
pull up the bench. Randy and Asmuth can share the bench. Do you want to crown too, Asmuth? Mm -hmm. So we can match. Just so we can match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me a package from Jim. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna open a big one because I'm I selfish. <laughs> okay. You got to open. I know. I open big ones all the time. No, you have to do it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just come see. Hail Caesar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not here. I'm just a figment of somebody's imagination. They need a better one, though. Hee <laughs> hee. Lulz. Right? Finally got you live. Hey, Jacqueline. <laughs> well, come sit on the bench, too, baby. Okay. I want Jim to be able to see your faces. I don't want to let me micromanage you. What is it? You got some Yu-Gi-Mon cards? Yu-Gi-Mon? <laughs> That's a Pokemon and Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Mon. Oh, Lord. What is it? Some Gome Bars. <gasps> Gome Bars. Yeah, Jim! Rama Gummies! <laughs> and Sour Gummy Worms. Ooh. Can I take Thank you, Jim. for some of those? <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're both of mine. So I guess he's having this for breakfast. How many you calories? 130 calories. Okay. You well, second breakfast, breakfast then. <laughs> My turn? Yeah. Mm. Bigger bucks. Oh, if it's going nothing but gummy worms. <laughs> Just 70 pounds of gummy worms. It happens. <laughs> oh my god, there are DVDs. <gasps> wow. Oh. Oh gosh, it's Jim! Jim. <laughs> Guys, these are for me. Here, if you turn oh, the bench okay. long ways, yeah. you'll be able to put it in front of you. I want to touch it, but it's your package. What what movies are in there? Um, are there movies in there? Oh. Home videos by Jim. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not actually what it says. Um, That'd be something else, though. Ghost Rider. Oh, right on. An unmarked Z thing. Uh, Treasure Planet. Ooh, I like that one. That, is, that was, that the, I think, on. the first anime I ever uh, saw. Yeah. But even though it's not technically... Oh. There's a bunch of those. So I mean, there's some um, pipe cleaners. Ooh. Good for your straw. Yeah. More pipe cleaners. Well, and also, in a lot of the uh, fairy, or mermaid crowns that I've hey, seen, people use uh, the these to make the frame mm -hmm. to glue stuff to. Um, plastic bags? Ooh! Pretty ones with hearts yeah. on them. Yeah. Randy, for the Patreon Ooh. shipment. Ooh. Can I toss it to you? Yeah. Ah! Beads. More of those! <laughs> Beads. Thank you, Jim! Um, some, <laughs> uh, rocks and things. Oh! <clears throat> some ring blanks. Ooh, goodness! Oh, Holy crap, here. Jim! There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Uh, some sewing needles, I think. Ooh. No. Are they head pins? They're head pins. Right on. <gasps> They're little paddle there's pins. More head pins. There's paddle and there's like. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, these are different kinds of head pins. They keep the beads from sliding off, but they have decorative ends. Hey, everybody. Hey, Stormy. Even though you have to go. Hey, Nina. Hey, Penny. There we go. Did everybody just get notifications? Because <laughs> we're up to like 90 in here now. <laughs> Branch coral beads, I assume. <gasps> oh. Yeah, Nina says just now got the notification. Ultraviolet, I don't have to open it, I guess. Electra. Tea. Whale Rider? Uh, I've never heard of What's that one. Whale Rider? I don't know. Oh. That. She's flashing games. Last on. Airbender? Twice. Jim, thank you. Oh, <laughs> My phone went off telling me while I was watching a different YouTube video. Right on, Julia. Uh, ooh, chocolate covered espresso beans. I'm gonna take those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna pinch your nipple on camera, but I was coming for you. <laughs> Best um, way to debilitate your friends: pinch them in the genitals. <laughs> these are uh, more, more of the beads. coral beads. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that to your friends. <laughs> Some chainmail. <laughs> And it's woven. Uh, I guess they're. Did you bracelets? make this, Jim? He's not even in here right now. We're opening up all of his good stuff, and he's. Oh my God, this is beautiful work, though. Check oh, that, that is out. Really cool. Randy, come look at. This one will fit you. Oh. And it's a magnet clasp. 
Oh, really? Yep. You have to come get it. Mm -mm. I'm still looking through my cards. <laughs> he's over <laughs> Randy won't come over here because he's looking through. He's a grown-ass man. Looking through, my <laughs> looking through his Yugimon cards. Also, um, Valerie with the Enchanted Oak, if and when you're watching this, because hopefully you do, I have never seen a grown man pout about not having bath bombs. <laughs> he straight up, he, almost, he was refusing to take a bath because he didn't have any bath bombs from me. He's like, no, I want a bath bomb. And I was like, Randy, get in the tub. And he's like, where's my bath bomb? I was promised a bath bomb. So we might need more bath bombs. No, the shower's fixed now. We're good. No, yeah, the shower's fixed, thanks to Randy and Azimuth. Fix that shit. All right, here we go. Do you need help? I can't more? do it. Okay, flip your wrist over. How in the hail? It slides in the tube. Yeah. Ooh. It wasn't that difficult, guys. You, well, you've got a magnet it. one. Yeah. What's that one? Ooh. It's a no. slide oh, class. Yeah, those are <laughs> How long will you guys be on? At least an hour. At least an hour. And I'm going to do some crafting today, so too. At least points. 36 more minutes. Ooh. Hmm? Or 20 more minutes. Ooh. I can't do time. Yeah. Uh, do time well, Jim sent us all kinds of goodies, so now oh we don't God. know what to do. There's <laughs> shells in there. Stop. <laughs> Open your own package. <laughs> we have to one at a time. Uh, there's some action, some Steven Seagal and Chuck Norris video. Oh boy. <laughs> we got, we got, uh, Steven Se we should have a Steven 15, Seagal man. Uh, 15 Steven Seagal movies. On one disc? Featuring Steven Seagal and Rustlin. Yeah, that's what it says. And there's 15 Chuck Norris movies. How come I can't Hell yeah. block? I don't know. Ignition. Oh. We have a spammer and I can't block him. It doesn't even give me the option. Am I no longer Did a mod? Did you raid a video store? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Jim always has like a bunch of the Scrooge. coolest stuff. So these are the classic ones. Oh, nice. I love the uh, fact the that half of these monster cards have one. names that like are straight out of Mega Man. Oh, really? <laughs> Battery Man C. <laughs> <laughs> What's this white one? Is it a game? Oh. Yeah. Is Jim in here? Oh, the Golden Compass. Hmm, Where's Jim at? Yeah, hey Jim! Yeah. We're yeah. halfway yeah. through yeah. opening yeah. your packages. You wanted a really, really Randy's going through yeah. um his Yugimon cards. Yeah, he, he got <laughs> the cards and he just disappeared. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> and we're uh ginger black tea. <gasps> Ooh. Earl Grey black tea, I'm gonna take that too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So it'll fall on the floor. That's fair. And then the uh, dog's pomegranate eat it. and cherry black tea. Ooh. And Jim, this is very generous. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah! Oh, good job. Ah! Okay. More, More blanks. blanks. Where do you get them in all the different colors? I'm going to have to do a tutorial using these. Mm -hmm. Paddle Little things. Big paddles. Some We're going to have to put all of the... Oh! You'll be able to use those. Probably. Mm-hmm. Okay. So stick them right there. Yeah, I'm running out of space on the table, Jim. <laughs> Some more then. Show Bob's and Vagine. Really? Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> no, three did. Randy opened one already with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and the gummy worms. Um, oh, I love these, Jim. And then uh, we're Some, opening the oh. biggest one, and then I'm going to open the other one. Euros for coffee in Paris. So we've got some euros. Oh. I don't know what the value is. We'll have to save 50, them whenever we go so, to Paris. 50 euros. I guess so. we're going to Paris now. We'll just buy one coffee. I don't know what the exchange rate is. I right? Mean, is is a coffee 50 euro cent? Because that's what We'll get is. one coffee and share it between the three of us. There's a, a one euro. That's super cool. And Foreign money is like cent. so in, like so, cool to me. Two, so there's hey. three... Like hey, Randy, do you want this, um, there tree fitty? <laughs> these euros for tree fitty? <laughs> Maybe. For in your coin collection? Maybe. I'm gonna count these euros. Yeah. I need to know. Do I need to know that one. touch the shell box? Two. No, there's more than tree fitty. Mm. Okay. There's Ooh. Four, tree fitty. Four Would you find a good Yu-Gi-Oh card? I'm holographic cyber dragon. Holographic cyber dragon. Why are out the coins? Is Who's in the cage? In the cage is Lemmy Winks. That's our guinea pig. Yeah. We're looking for a boyfriend for her. 50 cents is only US, 25 cents. Yeah, US cents. Okay. Yeah, it's a half. We're half. Coins. Hi, Von Randy. It's kind of hard to see we what it is when Canada it's so far away, situation. right? Huh? We get to be Canada in that situation. 
Those Could you send out a warning seen. notification that you're going to start live streaming maybe 30 minutes ahead? I missed some. I'll do that next time on, like, Facebook and everything, but I was running super behind schedule today. Um, <laughs> is, is he... When did Let Me Come Into the Household with Azmuth? Mm -hmm. Ooh, here, I'm going to set some of this stuff back into the box. Yeah, go ahead. Um, because I'm straight up out of room on the table. I'm going to eat the crap out of these. Euros if you're from Washington. Well, he can be the country. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, you can do that. <laughs> oh wow, though. Right? It's shiny. It's different colors. Mm -hmm. It's different. I mean, Textures they're about the same and... size. But... Does it have chocolate in it? No. Ah. I don't think so. <laughs> did, did you just? No, that? I did no. not. Like... <laughs> Is Azimuth taking seed donations? Um, sure, yeah. Yes. We've got a whole garden in the back that needs something done with it. So. Right. Well, YouTube seems very late with the notifications. Even miss live streams from people because YouTube is so late. Oh, goodness. I love the dragon lies. I'm going to try to make them next month. I love your channel. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hey. This has been going on for 41 minutes. Like, I was kind of sad because, like... Normally, whenever I get started up, all y'all pop right in, and I'm like, "Hey guys!" And then I was like, "Why is nobody here?" And then, That's but true. we're here now. Here. Well, they were they were they were trickling in. Azmuth is obsessed with this European money. I've never seen European money before. <laughs> I pop right in when I get the notification. Here's the last one. Here, I've got scissors. It's all taped up. It's all taped up. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tammy in Iowa. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're up to 130 now, Adam. There we go. Man, all kinds of cool little shells in there. Don't spoil it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, you're not excused. <laughs> 41 minutes, just got the notification five minutes ago. Hey, Charlotte, it's no worries. We're kind of, we've been going pretty slow this morning to try to... I'm being bamboozled. Bamboozled. <laughs> Jim, you were taped too good. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> we must be the queen of the ocean. We are today. We're test wearing the different crowns. Which, this one, they sit pretty good just, like, on the head. Like, you don't have to have them squeeze as much. How is your yeah. head holding up, Randy? Yeah, it's alright. How are you, is your head doing, Asma? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's like it's starting to give me a bit of a headache. Okay. Well, you don't have to, you guys well, don't have to wear them. It's sitting right on the temples as well. Right on. Vaughn, do you ever find yourself needing swords as a prop for your cosplay costumes? I've actually probably specifically been designing around not needing a sword because I don't really have one. Swords are, um, nice. Hmm? Swords are nice. Swords are super nice. They're really hard to find. They are hard to find. They're hard to make. They're even harder to make. Yeah. I have to make another one. So, <laughs> yes. Right? This is the answer. Julia says, watching this makes it seem like my crochet project is going faster. <laughs> Penny says, Jim, you're ta your dad, you tape things like my dad does. So Words are hard. <laughs> I can't see anything that far away. Get as to the camera with the stuff. Well, right now he's just fighting with tape. <laughs> okay, y'all. Fort I Knox of taping. Trap cards for days. Oh boy, it's a trap. <laughs> Wait, morning? What time is it? It's like three in the afternoon. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, these ones. Dibs. I call dibs. Excuse me. Ah. That was my package. <laughs> How does your glitter look on skin? Um, it's, the light's too bright right now. It's not showing mm -hmm. up as much, but it has a really nice, I don't know if you can see the shine of it right there. But, um, I think it's going to be perfect. Those are super pretty. Yeah, they are. We can put them in a communal area. That way we can all look at them. Don't put them in my them. eye holes. Don't put them in your eye holes. <laughs> too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Wait, we need a shot of Randy. Get over here, honey. Please, you can bring your cards. Get your eye holes over here. Bring your cards. He's sadly packing all of his cards back up together. No, like scooch your chair. Come be, come be with us. One more, <laughs> bless you, and then you're gonna have to go get a grip. Can we see Randy's crown? What? 
They wanted to see your beautiful face. Oh. Oh, look at those squishy beans. Mm-hmm. The pyrite and stuff. Check out all these shells, though. Squish beans. And these ones are honestly going to be the absolute most perfect because it's really hard to set shells on this stuff because they don't have a flat area. And these have a flat area, so they're going to be perfect. These ones, too. What did you do? Oh, his tape again? <laughs> he is a wizard with tape, though. Oh, they're, they're perfect. Oh, yeah. little Poseidon. Those will work out very nicely. Mm -hmm. like very them. nicely. And all the pink coral. I know. I don't know if Jim weaved them, but they did somebody to super good chain mail. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tuck this back into the thing. <laughs> we exchange swords instead of wedding uh. rings. It's like what we, it's what it's <laughs> like when nerds collide. Vaughn, Becky wants to know why she can't get through to you. She's on all different stuff, so she can't talk to you and send pictures, but nothing's working. Got any ideas? It's, I'm not sure, I've been having a really hard time keeping up with my messages on my phone. Like, Facebook isn't really working on my phone anymore. Anytime you guys see me being active on Facebook, like, doing posts, it's because I posted to Instagram, and it also lets me post to Facebook through Instagram, if that makes sense. <laughs> you remind me of a Doug, of a Doug from Up. Squirrel. The dog. Okay, so that's a pirate. Get over here, yahoo. What cards? LOL. <laughs> no, right, he's still just like with his cards. Queen and King of the Ocean. Is it another euro? No, it's a. Uh, Randy does rock that oh. crown. I gotta catch okay. up with the comments. What? Carol says. He looks like he's low. thinking he's the King of the Ocean. What a happy family. Just come up for bubbles. Is it right? Everybody choose the Thursday. An ounce of pure silver. <gasps> you shitting me. Nope. Wow. I thought it was another euro. I thought it was chocolate. <laughs> Wait, are you sure? Wow. Oh, this wow. is awesome. Randy, put this someplace safe. Jim, you are super generous. Yeah, Thank you. You're giving us things with substantial <laughs> value. I just ordered you super dollar surprise. They ran out order. <laughs> oh, uh, well, thanks, Hannah. Yeah, your little line. Yeah, my big line. Yeah, it's, I think I'm going to design them to be stiff all the way around and sit like an actual <laughs> crown. This one's for you, Randy. Oh. What is it? It's a Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> holographic. Randy loves the holographic. I'm still waiting to see it. You're going to have to put it on your key ring. Oh, what is that? Yu-Gi-Oh. Key. <laughs> is it my? Morning, yeah. Becca. Yeah. Do you eat sugar snap peas? Oh, That's God. actually probably the household's favorite it's vegetable. The best. Randy likes asparagus best. Yeah. Is his favorite. But the one that we can all agree on, like every meal, sugar snap peas. Yeah. Huge mind. There's always Huge watching the stream later. In your <laughs> and I'm not really good at growing them. I never plant them at the right time. I guess. I'm you, always either too early you. and they rot in the ground, or I plant them too late and the heat takes them off. Before or we're at a show and you never harvest them. Yeah, yeah. Once they go to seed, they stop producing. Yeah. Uh, Does hey, that mean well, Randy is holosexual? <laughs> Probably. These, these Randy's like good. he's like sexual. Yes, I'm all sexual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jim, where do you get those round stacking storage containers? I know, right? <laughs> well, they're like ninety percent tape too. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm retiring soon, so I'm collecting jewelry vids so I can learn and help my wire jewelry projects. Right on. Anytime we try to plant peas, the ants go after them. Um, a lot of the times I'll see aphids on my pea tendrils, and that usually brings the ants up onto them. But as long as you have your soil nutrition up and keep watering them well, um, I found it hasn't really inhibited them too much. And also use seven dust. Yeah. I'm too lazy to use Long dust on my plants, though. Okay. <laughs> okay, so while Azmuth battles the, uh, <laughs> the, t the, tape. the tape, I'm going to open the last package from Jim. A guy came in and wanted to sell a box of those rounds. Not going to say what I paid. Knowing you, Jim, you probably got an excellent price, hopefully. Take these scissors. Hold up to your heart. Block Nightbot for spamming past my question. Well, Nightbot was actually answering someone else's question. Oh, really? Yes. <gasps> Ooh. Damn. 
Cause I'm a gummy. <gasps> Peach gummy rings. Have you, have you seen me? I like food. If you send me food, it's gonna get it. <laughs> Even though this isn't technically like food, like from a nutritional standpoint. Um, <laughs> uh oh, Randy. Uh oh. What? Pocket Monsters card game. Ooh, uh -oh. Is that a More? Is that a oh wow, oh, these are different. actually. Well, that box is for me. I don't even oh, know anything about this stuff, and these look cool. Hysteric fairy, Sonic Burb. Sonic Burb. Lord of D. <laughs> Sorry, where do they even come up with these names? From Mega Man, I told the you. The unfriendly Amazon. Cool character design. The Bistro Butcher, really. <laughs> He's like wrapped in ham and has a, a hook hand. You sure those are gag cards? I don't know. They probably are. Okay, Giant Soldier of Stone. That one's a holographic polywhirl. Did you already say that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Prism Century. Serpentine Princess. Sonic Burb. Okay. Here's your. I'll hand them to you in the box. Because yeah. otherwise they'll fall everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jim. <laughs> hey, Lynn, we're doing great. I think the package I want to send you is too large for USPS. I may have to send it UPS, but I don't think they accept P.O. Box as an address. Um, I don't know. Do I? Uh, UPS does not accept post office boxes. Okay. Yeah, you used to deliver for UPS, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, as a matter of, like, standard practice, we don't give out our home address. Um... What is that Nick Cage behind you? Um, no, not Nick Cage. But, uh, that's Lemmy Winks, a lady guinea pig who is looking for a man in her life. <laughs> Believe me, they were talking about Hasman. Were they talking? Nick yeah, because I was Cage making dumb faces. Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Nicholas Cage. I thought it was nice Cage. <laughs> Maybe is that what? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. You, you should have held the cards hostage. Nice faces. <laughs> yeah, PO box is a big problem even right now. I it's, sorry, guys. <laughs> God, that just reminds me of Harry the hamster. We Beaver need a Harry warrior. the hamster. Beaver warrior. Yeah. If it's too big, can they break it down into smaller packages? Yeah. Cause it's um a large flat rate box, can be pretty uh can be pretty Skull big. Mariner. The what? Skull Mariner. Skull Mariner. <laughs> <laughs> that was just rocks. Well, here's some pretty rocks. Ooh. <gasps> oh, those. Oh, is that what those are? Yeah. Oh, those rocks to me. <laughs> no, guys, look at that. Again, the, cam Leo. the camera's not going to pick up on it, but they're very Again, subtly... Oh my gosh, I've never had any opals before. Like, oh not God, real ones. Awesome. <laughs> You're right. I'm jelly. And I got Misty's polyrath. This is beautiful, Jim. Thank you. Just an amethyst. Whoa. And I'm Ooh. a bad trainer. I can't remember his name. Jim! You should give me no. other address. Mm -hmm. Gotta trust me by now. I do, Someone Judy, but it's like, uh, I don't know. We'll talk more. <laughs> when are you doing starter. another fairy house? Uh, um, hopefully soon. <laughs> so um, it might not be a live fairy house like golf, which reminds me, we're doing a giveaway today. Chikorita bay leaf. Um, I'll look it up. I can't remember. I know. I can't remember. Trainer. I only, I only know. I'm pulling up the winner of our Patreon. Keep opal in water. Okay, really. we'll put it some water in it. <laughs> it does water and what? What's that? What's going on? To keep the uh, opals in water. Oh. Why? Um, I don't know. It's just something I've always seen done. Oh. How do you choose a winner? We had gone through, we use a random number generator to pick, um, like, if you're a $1 pledger, you get one number uh, assigned to you, and there are different numbers every month. Um, if you are a five dollar or up pledger, oh, put keeping them in the water stops the tarnishing. Um, you get five numbers assigned to you, and then we just use the random number generator, and it picks one of you, and you win. <laughs> Man eater. I just can't find the message where I had sent to Randy who the winner was. 
for what? today. For today? For today's giveaway. Did you send me a message? I thought I did. Okay, I will be right back. Um, I don't know that. It's really tight. It's not heavy. It's right. tight. Yeah, this one, I made the band too small. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm starting to squeeze my brains out. Did you me or did you text me? Do it. Okay, was it ginger gully? Yeah. Okay. The blood rush back to my scalp. Where's the eye that she wants? I don't know. I'm giving away another eye today. You literally told me to go to the post office. I know, I know, honey. What? Okay. What? It's a fading tape. So today's Patreon winner is Ginger Gully. And you win this one of a kind hand painted eye for you to use in your jewelry however you like. I know, Asbeth does need a sport gel spiked mohawk. He rocks a faux hawk so good. You just gotta... I'm gonna tape in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you did a good job taping it. <laughs> what it ends up in your hair. But like, yeah, we just need to... Yeah, see? It's perfect. <laughs> but yeah, so congratulations, Ginger. And just so that you guys know, um, we're doing a giveaway every Tuesday in the live streams now to our patrons. And if you pledge $1, you get your name in the hat once. If you pledge $5 or more, you get your name in the hat five times. $10 pledgers will get access to um, digital downloadable content, more exclusive behind-the-scenes stuff, as well as um, I'm going to be doing early uploads of my videos. So you guys will hopefully be able to see... Uh, all of my tutorials and stuff before everybody else. I'll still be releasing the tutorials to everyone, um, but uh, y'all will get to see them first, which is pretty cool. And then at the $20 tier, you also get craft crates mailed to you every month. And that's for international too. So that's what's going on with our Patreon. Aaron says, Vaughn, if your custom orders ever open up again, I might have to order just a dragon eye. I've been wanting one since I first saw the tutorials. Right on. And that's another thing, too, is over on our Patreon, y'all get priority um, with, like, I go through every day and answer my Patreon messages first. That's where I'm most active as a social media. Because, I mean, y'all are... Everyone's very supportive, but y'all are going the extra mile and making sure that like this stuff, this stuff that we've been doing here lately on our YouTube channel, I would have never been able to start doing these things if it weren't for you guys in all of your support, both on Patreon and here on YouTube. I mean, everything that you guys are doing is enabling me to really explore and expand my art in a way that... Is enabling you. <laughs> it, it's enabling me, uh, for sure. But um, to experiment in things, that, like, because prior, we had to make sure it was marketable. We had to make sure the product was as efficiently made and ready to sell as possible. Because it's like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you guys. I've been making these horns yesterday. Uh, and I had to make three pairs before I could get some that matched each other. And these ones weren't even from the same pair that I made. That's how hit and miss it was. I would have never been able to spend that amount of time and energy on something to fine tune it. <laughs> Holy shit, me! <laughs> A mystic tomato? <laughs> what? Pretty sure you grew that. I'm pretty sure I've grown one of those before, yeah. But, um, hey, buttons. Sorry, I'm sneezing again. So you don't have to screw up. Will you make the Mermaid Fairy House that you talked about a while back now that you are into water Capricorn theme? I think I will, Nina. I'm going to make a little mermaid gazebo uh, fairy house. So. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I did. Now I know how to keep Azmuth busy. A big ball of tape. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> that's not entirely inaccurate. Like, that's a lot of truth right there. But, um, but thank you guys so much, though. Uh. I'm tempted to send you some triangle beads that I'm not going to use, possibly use. Right on, go for it. It's I'm trying to kind of get everything lined up so that we can... Oh. Uh, Randy found another card he likes. Um, Holographic blue eyes. Do more consistent cool. tutorials and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do what? 
holographic blue eyes shining dragon. Right on. Ow. Granted, it's been 15 years, but that was an expensive car. <laughs> Vaughn, when are you going to do something with the airbrush? Um, I'm going to be doing more airbrushing probably in the next couple of weeks. The thing is, is I don't use the airbrush inside the house because it atomizes the particles. Um, and I might have a respirator on, but it still, it hangs in the air and there's other people and animals in the house. So I've been, I had been using the airbrush outside and it's been like freezing outside. So airbrushing seems, ooh, pyrite. Airbrushing seems to be much more of a, uh, these are so shiny, Jim. Um, airbrushing is a fair weather project. I got an airbrush for you. Can't wait to see what you do with yours. Right on. I'm not all into social media stuff. So what is Patreon? Patreon is, um, yeah, Squirrel, uh, a platform where y'all can go and pledge as little as a dollar. You don't even have to pledge. You can just have a Patreon account and follow because I still post some Patreon exclusive things there that don't make it to any of my other social media. Um, <laughs> and um, to become a Patreon, uh, you can type exclamation point p-a-t-r-e-o-n and it'll make the link um for you to uh to go and like either make an account and just follow or you can pledge thanks daniel um mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh just i don't know it's it's kind of a fun little platform and it's like kickstarter in that you can pledge but it's a monthly thing and you can do just one month and like I said I don't ever want it to be like hey you have to pledge to get this the only thing that we really do that for is for the craft crates but um yeah you get behind the scenes stuff and all sorts of stuff Nina says now you're making me sneeze too <laughs> I don't know if it works like that <laughs> sorry I can't stay have a good night all busy week here hey Valerie I had mentioned earlier in the video uh, I just want to tell you real quick before you go I've never seen a grown man pout about not having bath bombs for in his tub. Um, <laughs> like, he, he was refusing to take a bath because he was like, where's the bath bombs? And I was like, I'm out. And, and like, he pouted. A 30-year-old hairy man standing naked in the bathroom with a bubble tub next to him was going, I want my bath bombs. <laughs> this is good. I want my bath bombs. I want to see it fizzle. Um, <laughs> Valerie says, what scents do you want? He he's loved everything that you've sent. Honestly, the shower's fixed now. So. Yeah, well, in the shower, like the pipes had froze and broke the handle in the shower, uh, so we were having to take baths. And Randy was like, well, "I'm gonna have to sit in the tub. I want it to be fun." And I was like, "Okay, Randy," but thank you, Valerie. Like, just that you <laughs> he just wants to get all sweet for you, right? Well, it's like, and he makes me dump water on him in the tub. I don't think you do nothing. Well, the the second bath you took when I wasn't dumping water on you, I could hear him complaining from the bathroom, and he was going like, "Oh no, I have to wash myself." <laughs> like, and then I come in and look at him, and he's sitting all sudsy, just like hunched over in the tub, like. <laughs> If it weren't, like, nudity and horror, not horrible, but... And horror? Really? <laughs> well, the bathroom's pretty dirty, well, so... Under the yeah. Of life <laughs> then I would have taken pictures and shared them with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so... It was a deviant artist. <laughs> hey, y'all. Do you gasp? I don't know what that is. What? G-A-C-S-K-E? I don't know what that is. Glittery Randy smelling of roses. <laughs> hey, Joseph. <laughs> yeah, Esmeth's having fun just rummaging through the beads. <laughs> oh, I've got one more package from Pamela. It's been it's been an hour and I haven't seen her come in yet. But Pam, if you're if you're watching this, hey, what is a bath? When you grow past six foot four, you start wondering what this mythic thing is called a bath. <laughs> Give me a practice in the tub on washing him for when he gets older, right? Well, and I like dumping water on him, and I like washing his hair, and like scrubbing behind his ears and stuff, and he's just, he just, he likes complaining about it, but, Gross. yeah, it's, I don't know, I'm a groomer at heart, like, Asmuth wa- <gasps> Ooh, Pam! Um, Asmuth yes. walks in on us sometimes, like, when we're just sitting at his computer, and I'm like digging in his ears. And he's just like, why are you doing that? And I'm just like, I can't get enough of digging his ears. So I just, never mind. <laughs> Damn, James of Blindfold. Uh, have any Premiere Halo acrylic? What's that? I don't think I have any. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Pam says, 
Just a few things that I had. Thought you would like to make something out of them. <laughs> Maybe no, one day you might be able to come to a small place called Popwellville, which yeah, is I'm in Georgia. Hope there you like what I sent you. Everything you have made and sent to me, I yeah. have in my craft room, is hanging up where I can look at it. Maybe my son is a gamer like Randy. Well, like I have an older older son that is 28 years old. Yeah. I'm old enough to be your mom, but that's okay. Like my mom used to tell me, old clogs can learn new things, or old dogs can learn new things things too in life. What I'm trying to say is you inspire me to do more, so I'm doing more. But I don't know about leather working yet. <laughs> me neither. And I love leather working, but I'm like, <laughs> uh, you keep doing what you do and life will be good to you. Your friend, Pam. Thank you so much, Pam. A bunch of stuff. And I'm going to show you guys. One at a time. Individually. She sent me these beautiful feather charms with like a little turquoise colored inlay on them. Hey, Juliana. What do we do? Oh, nice, I tried before and they called it a hot tub. A hot tub, my you? <laughs> hot tubs are the bomb. Like, one day when Randy and I were in the lottery or something, I'm getting a hot tub. Because at the campground, as a kid, they had this hot tub that was like cedar planks. It was like a giant whiskey barrel, and it was wood-fired. And there's nothing like sitting in a hot tub out on a snowy night watching the stars, like, with the smell of wood smoke. And it's like, and it was in southern Ohio, so, like, it's just like, there's nowhere in the Appalachian mountain range that isn't just exquisitely beautiful. Um... And so it's like, I want that again one day to be able to just go, even if it's like a dog tub out in the backyard with like a heater blowing on it, I'm going to sit out there on the tub and be like, a dog tub. I don't know, like one of those big wash bins that they put babies uh, in or something, <laughs> like whenever they're washing kids, like, I don't, never mind. <laughs> Scott and I decided to start learning flow style weapon fighting, get more active and start working out right on. I know got to run to the ladies room. Don't want to leave you. Oh no, we'll see you. We'll be here. That wasn't a hot tub. That was in making soup out of you. <laughs> well, it's fun being soup, you guys. Is this food with... It's like water with food in it. It's soup. A cattle feeder. Yeah, like one of those cattle bins. Ooh. Okay, so more that Pam sent. Little green gems. A whole bunch of them. Oh, wow. What are those? Little green acrylic gems. Oh. These are beautiful. Those are nice. They'll look good set in chain mail. Maybe in one of my costumes. Maybe. Okay. Ooh, and blue ones. <laughs> I got a dowel from the hardware store. That'll work. It'll bop your fingers, though. Uh, be careful if you guys actually start, like, fighting each other with them. I recommend the, uh, they have, like, boffer ones with some foam on them. It won't crush your knuckles the way that the solid wood will. Look at this beautiful seed bead mix, you guys. Pull for noodles. Pull for noodles. For noodles with like PVC pipe inside of them is basically. Oh, Pam, you got these color schemes dead on. Look at that. Oh wow. And these beautiful little quartz beads. The lights in here are a little, little bright, but. Thank you so much. Oh, and there's more. <gasps> Handmade mushrooms from Pam. Ah, look at those cute little things. <laughs> if he hits me, I'll fire him. That's fair. But no, I don't know how many times that Randy and I have gotten into uh, kind of like staff dancing a little bit. Let me see. Ooh, pretty. She had super good. They're my favorite kind of mushrooms, too. The little fly agaric. <laughs> Mushroom, you make mushroom. poisons out of those in Skyrim. Oh yeah? Oh, really? It's because they're anti they are poisonous. Yeah. They're hallucinogenic. Yeah. And if you eat too much, you shit yourself to death. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> shells. More shells, you guys. Oh, beautiful little auger shells. Perfectly formed. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Pam. Thank all of you so much. This has been just, wow, so many gummy worms. <laughs> so the live streams get demonetized. But no, actually, it'll be the ones where I'm saying stuff that's questionable. Don't get touched. It'll be like, how to make Malachi out of polymer clay. Demonetized. And I'm like, what did I do? 
I've got the flu and you already do cheer me up. <laughs> and you all really do cheer me up. Well, I'm sorry you're sick, Flame, but I, I do hope you get to feeling better. Being sick's just the worst. Ooh, you know something that I recommend for when you're not feeling great? Ginger tea by Jim. <laughs> Ginger black tea. We're gonna have to make some tea because my coffee's just about gone. Asbeth is in there making tea. <laughs> okay, so now, Asbeth, I'm scooching your bunch over. Okay. Yeah, that's far enough. No. <laughs> Um, the question is, have you ever worked with resins? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? I haven't actually done any resin casting. I really want to, but it's, um, I kind of already have a lot of the shapes that I would have been using in glass. And I like painting the backs of glass with nail polish so much that it's kind of my go-to. But I'm really interested in making some synthetic opals out of cast resin. And so that way you can kind of, um you know, experiment with different things like that. So uh, I'm really interested in it. I especially want to make some of my own molds. That way I can get shapes that I can't accomplish with the glass. <sighs> Ooh, as with us, his cards out now. <laughs> I have ordered some glass tabs to try Dragonize. You have inspired me. Right on, Lynn. <laughs> Mon, I hate asking, but do you know if it's safe to tumble anodized rings? I'm only asking because I might have to do it soon. Um, you'll want to do a lot more research. The only times I have tumbled anodized aluminum is to just clean it up just a little bit. Um, uh, they're, they're Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards. We're children. We're, I live with man children. Um, it's great. <laughs> they keep it lighthearted around here. But yeah. Hmm? Jamie asked, did you get the envelope from me? Yes, Jamie. I... Double check checking just to make absolute sure. I know I asked you not to read it online. Yeah. I did. We got it just a couple days ago, and it came with such, in, like, you brightened my day so much. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you can put anodized aluminum through with like rice hulls, like rice. Um, but it's, I do a test sample first. Like, what's the problem that you're facing that you're needing to uh, tumble them? Tumbling anodized rings would be impact chemistry rings, but anodizing is a coating, so. Right. Oh, thanks, Michelle. I'm glad you like my crown. Adam says, I still have Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> Love oh, your crown. Where did you get it? I made it. And now this one, I learned my lesson on this one. I used a five millimeter foam for the backside and it's, um, it's a little too flimsy. So I started using 10 millimeter. Twisted says, by the way, that skirt you made in your video, that is exactly the kind of skirt I wanted for my Halloween costume, but didn't know how to achieve it. Right on. And it's honestly, they're my favorite style of skirts. Like the way that it layers and stuff and the hem style. And then whenever you, uh, if you have a square of fabric for these ones to make the pixie petal i just cut out the waistband end and then leave this hem square to make a basic circle skirt you'd cut out that circle and then cut this hem to a circle as well so you basically just leave that tip on it and it gives you that cute like little hanging uh like way that it looks and then you can also cut like how i did with the circle cutter the little scallops into it and give it like a really fun uh you know kind of uh goofy edge <laughs> so i'm gonna move this over this is gonna have to go to i don't think there are any rare ones i think i pulled all the rare ones out put them in here so now I wanted to show you guys how the breastplate came out because I haven't done any actual video of it yet. What are saying? <laughs> It'll be great for my sugar plum death fairy, right? Hey, Joe. So this is the breastplate. Um, I made the back plate as well. Can we bring out your guinea pig? Here's a Can we bring out our guinea pig? Um. Yeah, I'll get her. Okay. But. 
super reflective pearlescent uh, but I had made it so that this one would kind of come inside the other one and it's not working out the way that I wanted I'm gonna have to trim the back down a bit and then do buckles coming together and so I'll be uh, all of this stuff I'm gonna be doing videos on can I fold the lemon wings my hands she's kind of scared she's better now that she has a house like she's really right. chilled out a lot Oh, your hands are a lot warmer. Hey, Lemmywicks. Oh. I was sad to pick her up because I put my cold ass I'm hands, queen like, of the right sea and this is Lemmywicks. Lemmywicks, Lemmywicks. So cute. I know, right? Andre says, hey, Aspen. Hi. <laughs> founder. Oh, Mikio. Founder. I need to. <laughs> oh, Amber says, I have two of my own. Lemmywicks has been super lonely, so we're looking for a gentleman friend for her. Because, you know, <laughs> I thought you were holding a cat's hairball. <laughs> hey, garden. Makes me miss my ferrets. Ferrets are so much fun. I love, I would kill a man for a pet ferret. Really? I love ferrets. Right on. One of the snake cats? Yeah. I love them. I want one. I've had one in the past, but um, I mean, he's passed away now. It right. was a long time ago. My best friend in high school, her uh, mom and grandma kept ferrets, and they were a lot of fun. They're amazing. They're super interactive. Yeah. Like, I like that about them. And then when you don't want to play with them, they just sleep. Right. They, they are very much like long cats. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're nope cats. How? What about chinchillas? Oh, I think Azmuth would happily grow any creature. I also I'd love kill. chinchillas. <laughs> Derpy, don't make fun of us. The chinchillas. This is, I'd kill a man. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> like, this is our conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah um, the reason <laughs> I don't have a chinchilla or a ferret is that they're just too expensive to adopt. They or are pretty I would, expensive. I have a whole bunch of them. Well, we could probably keep an eye out. There's always, after Christmas, like the month or two after Christmas, people yeah. like having buyer's remorse about... Because yeah. ferrets do get a smell about them. Any, any rodent, any I pet. Like, I like the smell. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it can get, I don't know, I, don't, I never like an old pee smell, yeah. regardless of whose pee it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, Well, I don't even know where you would go to adopt one. Hey, I'm, I'm Quintana. talking about from, you know, pet stores. So right, yeah. I don't know where to go to adopt but, uh, one. But Craigslist. Craigslist. <laughs> like, because that buyer's remorse. I'm scared of Craigslist, too. That's why we go as a group. That way, they're yeah. scared of us. <laughs> like, power in numbers. Cute. Weasels are like fun. My late husband worked at Petco and people would bring them back Rapidation. and you can adopt Rapidation. them. Right on. Rapidation. Dress mannequins that are my size are kind of hard to find. Nice. Nicole, we're actually going to be doing some tutorials on showing you how to make your own mannequins shaped to your specifications. You know, um, Joseph asks, as with y'all knows this, aren't ferrets in the mink weasel family? Yep. Yep. Can I put her in my shirt? No. Talk about really? body autonomy. What? Just the top shirt. No. Just, I just want to have her in my boobs. The rockets, the rocket ones are really cute. You're going to the boobs, right? All the rocket ones are really cute. <laughs> I come, I see, I get called away. <laughs> hey, Quindana. Well, I was going to try Germany to, uh... a blind ferret before. It's so adorable. I feel so bad now. A blind ferret? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. She's so cute, you guys, and warm and snuggly. I would never get any work done. She's like, because I would just sit and hold her. Yeah, she's like terrified. Stop yelling in my ear. Vaughn, Bert has a question. Okay, I'm scrolling through. What's your question? Where's my energies? Energies for days. Mm -hmm. Hello, Yvonne. I have a bunch of gla glazed porcelain 12 millimeter beads that are poorly painted. Painted. I hate to throw them away. Do you think I could apply a bounding agent and cover them with a cane slice? I think you could. Um, what I would do is uh, coat them in, like, um, like put, like, a toothpick or something in it so it's not rolling around on you. Cover it in a, a layer of liquid polymer clay and then put little veneer slices onto it, and it should work out wonderfully. Now, it'll probably increase the size to almost a 15 millimeter bead, but that's a really nice sized bead for kind of showing off your polymer clay work anyhow. I need to not be twirling this oak dowel around <clears throat> right now. I'm going to break something. <laughs> Everything I've ever loved, knick-knack-wise, has been broken at least three or four times and glued back together. So 
I don't much experience with ferrets, but aren't they supposed to have a musky smell and not a pee smell? I thought if they smelled it's, like pee, it was time to change their bedding slash litter box. It's musky, yeah. It's musky, but it's a distinct, like, animal smell. Mm -hmm. Um, and my house holds on to smells, so, like, it'll smell like old bacon grease and, like, ferrets and, <laughs> like, me farts. Rain and I've been farting up a storm. Um... So <laughs> we call that TMI. Yeah, no, yesterday when we thought the cat farted, uh -huh. that was Randy. Yeah, apparently it was me because I got really? up to the bedroom and I pooted and I was like, oh my God, this smells just like, was I the one that was farting? <laughs> and I was like, have you been eating cat food? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, blame it on the cat. <laughs> I almost missed you completely. Hope everyone is doing well. And I love the seashell to Tiara. <laughs> I have to go pick up my grandson at the casino now. Well, drive safe, Diana. <laughs> Lemmy Winks needs a costume. Well, Tickle Lemmy Winks would have a heart attack if you put a costume on her. It'll be like a little thunder jacket. They turn her into Jim says, everyone send Yvonne gummies. Okay, I'm going to put you her back into her those home. those gummies. That's me. Yeah, Asmith is going to... I'm going to have like five and go into a diabetic coma. Mm -hmm. Um... There you go. Let me wings. Let me wings. Like, okay, I run away. Yeah, she's like, in the house. <laughs> Let me wings. Like, oh, <laughs> Let her go up your neck and under your hair. That's where they like to be. Penny, I actually put her back into her cage because I'm like, she hasn't peed on me yet. I don't feel like getting peed oh, on. I should probably put her back in her house. First <laughs> jungle. What did Nina say? A few days ago I found out my cats have made an extra litter box in my laundry. Great. Gotta love cats. Ember will rage poop, like, right in front of her litter box if we don't keep it safe. Yeah, well, thanks, you guys, for asking. It's it's good to keep her socialized, and she's been so lonely, and I'm such a workaholic. I did, Pam. I just opened it. Thank you so much. Like, you just missed me. I waited an hour. But I don't think YouTube sent out the notifications today. So, thank you, YouTube. So I'm going to scooch this back. I'm actually going to work a little bit today. You are. Right? You're actually going to work? Mm, I'm going to pretend like I'm working. Ish. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let me win. Let me win. And just so y'all know, I love these guys. I don't know if you can tell, but they're going through their binders of Pokemon cards. Asmith's flashing them like he has stacks of gangster money. Um. He has changed. He has nice changed. Ooh, those are shiny and pretty. Yeah. You got a chancy? Yeah. Oh my god, you have a chancy. So, if you have a nerd in your life, just know they're going to enrich your life. Like, for sure. Like, it's... I, I love I love my nerds. Uh, thank you. I didn't make the mug. It was made by a local potter uh, who we went to his like open house for Christmas and bought like three mugs because I absolutely love the glazing on this and I want like in my heart to replace all of our dishes with handmade dishes and his are so lightweight. Ah, gravity. Um, his are so lightweight that I don't accidentally hit myself in the face with them. Which sounds strange, but that happens a lot. I've got two nerds, tons of laughs, right? No, it's because, I mean, the house feels so empty when it's just Randy and I, so we do really well living communally. I guess I don't have one. Um, Look, I'm not into the water yet. And Asmuth has been an, ex an excellent housemate so yeah. far. I'm a nerd separate dating a nerd. She's a awesome. Well. Right on. Well, well, Hope you haven't seen all the uh, movies yet. We're going to have to have a movie marathon, Jim. Oh, Nina says, I have no nerds apart from you guys. <laughs> we'll try to help you get your nerd fix. Nerd is contagious. Yeah. It is. We'll suck you down the rabbit hole. Okay. So, for my Capricorn cosplay, go get some nerds. We're going to have start an Adopt a Nerd Foundation. <laughs> like, you have to pet them and let them pay, play with Pokemon cards and feed them frozen pizza. Yeah, um, can we have pizza tonight? It'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm trying so hard to lose weight. We'll only eat one piece of pizza. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, like, give us the other pizza. You can yeah. have so much for piece. making this a family friendly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me how to live. I don't Everything mean to. Everything was fine until the pizza. <laughs> Everything was fine until I suggested pizza and Vaughn started cussing. Um, which, 
Uh, someone had mentioned that my face looked slimmer. Thank you. I'm actually, I've lost like five pounds since January 1st, just by not eating so darn much. Um, so this is going to be the head on my staff for Capricorn. So, wow, they will need serious bling. Yes. I'm up for that. Bring on the nerds. I'll adopt a whole bunch, a whole herd of nerd. It's like my Instagram, Jenny's Craft. Oh, I'm in Pokemon whoa. out of loom bands. All oh, right, on Jenny. Huh. I don't really identify so as a nerd. I'm an attack promo. helicopter. <laughs> Should I need to put my, uh, get you promo I've got he's holographic, but he doesn't have my fiance and I are total fancy. nerds. I have to go. I, I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Preciosa. We'll see oh. you around. I, I, I'm a nerd yeah, merged with a geek, twisted in, and then folded into an RPG player. Then, right on. Yeah. Now, this was actually a ram horn made from Evil Ted's template, and I actually emailed him and got his permission to make stuff out of his tutorials on my videos. Um, so I won't be selling the templates to these, but he does. Now, this one is actually the same as... Let me set you off to the side. I need to little breastplate. take my hollows and... Them well, where'd the other horn go? Here it is. Okay. So see how this horn is shaped? Kind of like very straightforward. I used the same pattern for these two pieces, but just swapped the sides, like the A side and the B side. I swapped them and got super curly horns, which I'm very excited about. Heard the nerds my way if they can put up with an old hag like me. Oh, Nina. Really awesome. Can't wait to see the finished piece. We're scruffy looking nerd herfers. <laughs> nerd herfers. Nerd herfers. Sure, Don't be herfing herfers. your nerds now. <laughs> I do not. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing though is, and I think, where's my example one out? I was making some out of thermoplastic and it just kept not working. Like I couldn't get it off of the mold. But see how this tip here is layered scale work? Um, I'm going to be doing layered scale work on my horns. But I'm also going to have to shoot some video while we're doing this. So we're getting a little bit of an impromptu live stream. So it's become way less. I'm not going to be able to pay as much attention to the camera. So we're just going to get our stuff out and start uh, crafting. Brenda says, Vaughn, where can I email or post these pics of the swords to see if you want them? Oh my gosh. Uh, you can email me at backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com. Or you can post them to my wall on Facebook. But I, I need to stop suggesting that. Because um, Facebook is not working on my phone currently. Like, it doesn't let me post comments the way I want to and just all kinds of stuff. I want to lay next to the dogs on the rug and stroke it. Looks lonely. Sam, Sam has this perpetual Sarah McLaughlin commercial face where he's just like, I'm so neglected in the eyes of a Sam dog. Hey, Sam. Dude, last night. He's like, no, it's cold. I'm not getting up the rug. Which part of last night? With Sam. Mm -mm. You don't remember? I pulled him up and he mm -hmm. was out. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Bedtime for me now. Night, night, Jenny. I could not wake him up. Those look like the horns from Tim the Enchanter. They call me Tim. Tim. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what I was going for. But uh, the mythology behind the Capricorn is um, uh, the Capricorn, can't remember the specific name. I think it starts with an A, was Zeus's playmate. Um, after, like, his mom hit him or something, I don't know, something, whole bunch of family drama happened with the Titans, and so Zeus was hanging out with this goat lady who was, like, basically his nanny, and he broke one of her horns off, and was like, hey, I should go kill my dad now. Like, again, mythology, family problems, uh, Google it if you want a more accurate version, but he turned that horn into the Horn of Plenty so that the Capricorns wouldn't be hungry anymore, and that's why it was like, you, you were a good goat. And put her up in the constellations. Mythology was weird. It's like trying to describe a Marvel movie to someone who's not a nerd. It's the Greek gods. Of course there are family problems, right? <laughs> Apparently I'm the most naive of the group. So far it's proved interesting. I love gaming though. We're due for another night. I hope it's soon. Right on. Bye, Mikio. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting this recording. It's going to get a little loud, so I'm going to have the heat gun going. So I glued yeah, these together with, um, 
contact cement. That's exactly what and so now you can see it's quite um, not really round. Yeah, what you got? Loud noises. So I'm just heating it up to relax it. So you're going to want to heat up your foam until it's quite, like, almost, not gooey, but, um, oh, y'all still hear me okay? Excellent. But, uh, till it'll become quite limp and malleable. And what that's going to do is hopefully it will relax some of these sharper corners out. And then I'm going to be going through, I'm not going to go through with quick seal on this one because I'm covering it in thermoplastic. It's a great idea with leather. I want to make a dog collar for my bulldog pit bull. Um, not too much illuming. Any ideas? Um, I would look up just how to a basic dog collar and kind of see some of the different patterns and designs. Assembling a dog collar is basically just like doing a miniature belt. <laughs> Have fun shoveling you deck, Shelly. <laughs> So I'm wondering if there's going to be too much of a noticeable difference. So it takes quite a bit of heating actually to get this to start really relaxing. And you want to make sure to not burn it. So you can see, I'm going to need to come in here and push, probably with a paintbrush handle, just to get it to poke out a little bit. I don't know, we could keep it curving in, if and we wanted. Randy and Azmuth are over here trading Pokemon cards, and it's making me super happy. <laughs> So yeah, is it raining? Is it gonna rain? Is the sun setting? The sun is setting. <laughs> what the crap? It's it's like it's uh, five, four, four, four thirty in the afternoon. Yeah. What? Yeah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they want um, a separate video of you guys trading Pokemon cards. Well, we're doing it now, yeah, so. <laughs> we're so. You got two cameras going. Yeah. Yep. So now you can see them off on the side, trade louder. Trade. It's like stock exchange. <laughs> but yeah, so you can see how this one kind of came out compared to very minor difference. 
but it's there. It really shows off on the base, too. And then we'll go heat this one up. I'm going to check for some questions. Random bologna sandwiches? Right on. Babysitting and no longer have kids around. Is that awesome or bad? You might want to go find the kids, Erin. Ah, uh, thanks, Emma. I'm test wearing it today to see how the weight and everything is. And so far, it's holding on really well, as long as I don't like vigorously headbang, and it doesn't have any combs or anything in it. So I'm really liking this like size and shape. So, yeah. What happened to the tea? Oh, cool. I think Asmith forgot about the tea. <laughs> Hold on. Busy. Is it just me, or is anyone else having trouble with the stream buffering every few seconds? I mean, if you've just got one. Well, I got a big old head. So, <laughs> Emma says it looks really well seated. So, it sits. <laughs> oh, Nina's having troubles too with it buffering. Last video, I saw that somebody gave you a steampunk hat. I can't help, but I thought that would be very cool with bow dreads. Ooh, that would be cool. Will the headband survive a rock concert? Probably not. I, I don't know. I'm going to try to get it, too. I'm going to incorporate some hair cones. The stream is working well for me. Right on. Yeah, sometimes just refreshing the page or reloading the feed or something can really help. Yes, Nina, Randy needs to put his cards in a video. Maybe do a video about your Pokemon collection on your channel, Randy? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it would be a very fun video. Or we could make it fun. Talk about, like, Pokemon and childhood and stuff. And... Oh, yeah. Streaming wonky here, keep stalling. Mm, okay. So this is what I do when I'm not live streaming. Is it a three-legged cat or is it injured? It's a three-legged cat. That's Haru. Yeah, she's she just limped on through. She had a tumor in her leg, so it got amputated. <laughs> My cousin had a three-legged cat named Peg. Have you received the photos yet? I haven't been able to check anything, Brenda. <laughs> Thank you, better, but still buffers a bit. Mm. I'm covered in lemmy winks for a This is the basic thing you want. That's the saddest tangula. Aw, look at the tangula. He's sad, sad little tangula. <laughs> Cosplay, Pokemon cards. <laughs> Have you ever made the fawn from Pan's Labyrinth? Oh my god, no, but I'd love to. That's hardcore inspiration there. Is that Johnny Cash you're humming? <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know, I've had that song. It's super depressing, but I've had it stuck in my head for like a week now, probably. Longer than that. As, as with the, can't tell any of my songs apart from each other. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll be singing like Monsters and Men, and that'll turn into yeah, Johnny like Cash, and that'll turn into uh, yeah. Fat Rat. Like... Same one. Frank battery at fifteen percent. Gotta go. Have fun. Next cards might be a few more foreign. Ooh, okay. Well, thank you so much, Jim, for all of your generosity. Like really, thank you. Mm. Have an awesome out. Have an awesome day. I made dreads out of merino wool like three years ago. I think you look great with black and red dreads. Right on. I wear black pretty well, typically. <laughs> he was the best friend of my college roommate. Hmm. Oh wow, garden that's super cool. Garden Which says I, I actually like know the guy who played the I fawn. Never, like I always thought that was the head. Mm. And I was like, what kind of what? Uh Garden says I actually know the guy who played the fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. He's Ooh. the best friend of my college roommate. That's cool. Awesome. That is super cool. But like it took me like two years to And I thought Magikarp was a said Pokemon, <laughs> right? It's pretty awesome at playing weird looking characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. you have a Lady of the Lake says your videos are awesome. 
His name is Doug Jones. Just done. Huh? Just far. I'm just getting to work. I don't even have a jigglypuff. Yeah, you got a jigglypuff. Okay, so now that I've gotten the foam shaping done, oh, there he is. You can see I actually have a bunch of these circles cut out from thermoplastic. I've been using my Fiskars thick and juicy. Um oh, the same chancy. Okay. Little hole puncher. And so what I do is I actually take normally it's just whatever scrap uh I have laying around. Feed it in, line it up as far to the side as I can. Punch through. Hey, horror, how's it going? Punch through. You want the cute ride? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Yes. All the rocket cards are adorable. And they you are. can check and see to make sure that this one's going to have a little bit clipped off the top. I don't know if you can tell, but see? So you can look through and try to get it to where it'll be positioned for a perfect circle. <laughs> Squeeze it down so it holds it into place. There we go. Just like that. And now I need some half a ones. So I'm actually going to come through, take that out the bottom, and make sure that hmm, I'm not going to be able to get a full proper half. So here's my psychics. There we are. And I'll get into my and this way you can get partial ones yeah, get out of the scrap, one. too. <laughs> Dude, it's cool. It's a giant angle. I can't read that. We got any Wait. people who can read German? Do we have anyone who can read German in here? Rosanna. Yeah, I got another German, German one. <laughs> can I see? Yeah. Okay. I think it's German. It's a Geodude. Can anyone German. translate this Geodude card for us? Known. Hey Amy, That's right now we're translating so? um, a, a Pokemon <laughs> card, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, and I'm making some foam and thermoplastic horns. <laughs> Do you got it? Uh, I guess this is just all I have. Okay, my arm's getting tired. I'm gonna bring it down. <laughs> Okay, so I've got all of these head, don't know the rest. Um, Something about his head. I don't have a hypno. Something about his head? Like a headbutt or something? Yeah. <laughs> I can't read it too blurry. We'll put it into Google Translate later. <laughs> there you go. I can't read it too blurry. Right on. Okay, so I'm going to come through with my leather shears and trim these slices into half. I'll just leave that one as it is. Save all your scrap from uh, your thermoplastics because they melt down really nicely. You can have it all. It's still rocking. Oh, wait. I've got one. Oh, do you have to? Make a picture of the card, post it on your Facebook, you can get the strangest translations. Right on. I mean, you can <laughs> it That's okay. Oh, Aaron says that there's, um, there's websites that'll do the Pokemon translations. Yeah. yeah. Lieutenant Sergio Sparrow? Why does Lieutenant Surge have a sparrow? I don't know. Well, he's a normal trainer. No, he's, a no, he's electric. electric. Why do you have a normal... Okay. Why do you have a bird? I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Did they not think that There's no, They're <laughs> enjoying these Pokemon so cards yeah. more than, yeah, like... This is the most fun they've had I'm in ages. the weakest things yeah. I can possibly use. Yeah. Did you I mean, best that? thing I could think is they like, I'm the surge, I'm the electric guy, you're going to bring ground type, so I'll bring uh, a bird. So now yeah. we're going to come through and we're actually going Which to heat actually weak to ground type, but these little pieces. <laughs> I didn't say I was smart. My husband yeah. is like the dipper. <laughs> I'm not a hoarder, I'm a crafter. Huge difference, right? <laughs> oh, you've got two different ones. 
series. Actually, they look like one of them is the opposite series. Like the, uh, yeah, it's the same symbol with this. So I only really heat a few at a time. <laughs> Um, because otherwise they'll have just cooled down already. Get off my thing. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the horn and taking one of our pieces of thermoplastic. And I'm actually making just a little rosette tip. Got some, uh, I guess I got some basics hidden out in the back here. And I'm just doing the tip of the horn first and foremost. And I'm going to keep it twisting in the same direction as what the horn is. Just kind of twisting out. And actually, right now, I don't know if you can see, but up here, I've got, um, I'm shooting some video simultaneously. Uh, like you can see my little camera up here. So I'm going to be actually making a tutorial uh, with much better time lapse and better angles. But now we can take each of our scales and layer them around the phone. I will let you down. I will make you And... I think I traded a guy in high school for this card. Which card? Shuffle. Oh my god, look at the Ekans. Oh my god, he's so cute. Jeez. <laughs> oh god, where'd the shuffle go? Is he a water type? No, he's not. Water but yeah, so that way it starts kind of looking like that. Close that down. Bye, Derpy. This is the difference between a heat gun and a hair dryer. The heat gun isn't as breezy. Garden, a heat gun gets way hotter than it's a like hair dryer. Like, yeah, I'll show you as I. Like a hair dryer will be like. Tss, Hot it's to the like touch. This will melt your flesh. And, um, <laughs> now you can work with thermoplastics uh, <laughs> with a hair dryer. It just takes much longer. <laughs> like I'm gonna try to angle it. I don't want to blow hot air at the camera, but you can see the orange in there from the heat. I am making a scale covered Capricorn horns for the head of the staff that I'm gonna be making. For the costume. Hey, what is that last word? Huh? What is that last word? It's hurt. Okay, but it's something you just go, I something. Oh, it's, I let it trail off. <laughs> I'm singing for fun, Stop. not for performance Stop. purposes. Yeah, it's not I sing depressing songs to express the joy in my heart. Somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe Shuckle is uh, hiding out in these other... Okay, and so we're going to get weird little gaps like that. Not the gaps. Not the gaps. The so we just cover it with another little scale. Mm. You can't just keep covering it up. This isn't a conspiracy, Vaughn. Illuminati confirmed. Illuminati oh. confirmed. <laughs> Did I know the cards are in German? <laughs> well, that one is. Some of them are, yeah. Did you get it I back? I have two German ones. Did you get the card back? Yeah, uh -huh. I think so. Okay. So I don't want to accidentally... There it is. Uh, but how can it be depressing if it's so beautiful? Actually, I, I highly recommend Googling or uh, searching here on YouTube um, Hurt Johnny, like Johnny Cash style cover because I think it was originally a Nine Inch Nails song. Like, I don't know who did it first, Johnny Cash or Nine Inch Nails. I like Johnny Cash's yeah. version better. No oh, offense to Nine Inch cute. Nails. Cover all the gaps and the world will be quiet. Is he a um, it's it's, it's a really cool. deep and just, I mean, beautiful, the, but also depressing well, song. I, I was listening to so many different versions of it because I really like the cover band, like the covers that people do of it. But I was sitting in the corner, like that corner, uh, by my sewing desk. It's behind Asmus's butt. But, uh like my regular corner i was sitting there on the floor holding my dog crying <laughs> like i was like a mess um no no glue needed uh the thermoplastic is basically a wood pulp suspended in an adhesive uh so it'll stick to whatever you put it on which is really nice the heat gun was i also like nine so right 
So the only thing that's time consuming, like really time consuming about this is having to heat yeah, just a few at a time. Ones. And to show you guys, I have a holster down just... here on the side of my trash can. It's a metal holster with a marble block in it. That way um, it keeps the counterweight and the trash can won't fall over. Um, but uh, that way I'm not setting it on my work surface and melting the table or burning my arm. I am making one of the horns to my Capricorn staff. I will let you down. I will make you hurt. And it's coming really pretty. I could start again. And what I really like about this method is um, I don't have to seal on my little crappy gaps. Like, I'm not good at foam smithing, but I'm good at making it decorated enough that you can't tell <laughs> on first glance that I'm not very good at foam smithing. And hopefully this won't come out too heavy. That's I'm experimenting with this because if they come out super heavy, I'll know not to do my headdress horns like this. So the scaling on this is coming out pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's making me super happy. I'll watch the stream later. Yeah, it's basically, it's tapering off here, Brissy. Um, I'm probably going to stream for like maybe eight more minutes. Uh, actually, let me do some Q&A with you guys before I go. Um, and then I'm just going to keep kind of focusing on crafting. But that way, I don't want to take y'all's day. So do y'all have any questions about uh, how will you finish the horns? I'm going to be painting the horns on this to be kind of a darker, bluer version of this. This is really going to be like super pastel-y, pastel galaxy. I don't know if they're going to have the rhinestones on them. Oh, thanks, Erin. <laughs> So Spanish. But, uh, <laughs> and for those of y'all who haven't seen it, I've been posting pictures on Instagram of the breastplate, which I guess I'll give y'all a sneak peek of how it looks. I gotta tuck my boobs in it. Give me a minute. Ooh, gas attack. You got a Ron Pokemon card? Yeah, right. <laughs> I totally forgot about the tea. I so got all up in the it's not gonna. Meat. Yeah, probably gonna have to re reheat the water you did. for some tea. You have the other but, uh, of these, right? <laughs> uh, Kristen says I've seen it. The chikorita. I, yeah. I know I have a chikorita somewhere. Um, probably uh, peacock themes are the colors I gravitate towards the most. I'm really liking purple here lately. I, I have to hold it on the center because it doesn't have the back plate yet. So, this is the back plate, and I'm gonna have to resize it and reshape it a bit. But this no, is going to be worn like over so. that. Yeah. The black corset isn't going to be um, on there. And then, uh, <laughs> so I really like, yeah. it's got some movement to it. I'm going to be adding more padding, so I'm going to be like, boobies. <laughs> but, and then that paired with a crown, I think we'll be doing pretty good. 
<laughs> but I'm really going to need the uh, buckles on the sides to keep the front kind of held in to the back. So, <laughs> um, can you put it on the mannequin too so you can see it with the dress as well? Not yet. I'm going to have to get the back um, to where it'll hold on to it. Because since it's strapless, there's not really anything holding it on yet. But... That's how the breastplate's going. <laughs> Make you a hollow. Will you incorporate that with your Pisces costume? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm probably going to incorporate a lot of the scales, uh, but with the Pisces, I was actually going to do my own veil koi, uh, and have them look like, um, and I'll probably be using the airbrush quite a bit on that, painting like fish scales and stuff onto the veils, because I want those to be... Uh, the fish because again I'm gonna have to brush myself up on it a bit but the Pisces were the constellation like some of the mythology behind it um, is uh, Aphrodite and Eros had turned themselves into fish to defend something maybe if I'm remembering I don't know it was pretty late and I was like halfway paying attention to the article I was reading um, but uh, <laughs> um, but yeah this is um this one's based around a Capricorn outfit so uh, that's why I'm doing the staff is going to be a goat head, like horned outfit or horned skull. Uh, not entirely sure. I think that's how they're sitting on. No, this one goes on the other side. So this is going to be my, my staff head and she's going to be all mermaided up. Uh, <laughs> I have silverfish beads and little flat shells for you. Right on, Jamie. We're definitely doing um, quite a few more. I, I'm trying to do a, uh, a costume a month uh, for the Zodiac, as well as like smaller costumes off to the side. I'm putting together Bulma from Dragon Ball, uh, like um, the uh, Arabian Bulma, whenever she was out in the desert with desert Yamcha, Bulma. Desert Bulma. Um, <laughs> wearing like the vest and the jumper and everything uh and then azimuth is going to be dressing as trunks randy's dressing up as kind of like just a generic saiyan warrior uh so that's another costume we're going to be getting put together before planet comic-con in kansas city where we're just going and attending um so that's going to be a lot of fun uh <laughs> nicole says can't wait to see what you do for my sign libra it's, i'm really excited a lot of these are going to be very either mythical creature themed or Greco-Roman like goddess themed. Like next month is Aquarius um, and it's very uh, Romanesque, like Grecian style gowned, or nice gown and yeah. yeah. Aquarius is the age of Aquarius. Um, <laughs> Emma says, I'm Aquarius, so my next, right? <laughs> hey Steph, all oh, you caught me right as I was about to start heading out. Now Peddler for Aries, I'm gonna be doing uh, ram horns. So much more this style of horn, like coming back. I'm not going to have the crown on, but, you know, you and know less you of know. this style horn. Because what I was going to try to do with this headdress okay. is have a crown and then have the Capricorn goat horns kind of coming out and back. Randy, check it. That's cool. You like it? Yeah. Ha! Sorry, in Sagittarius, it's going to take so long. LOL, can't wait to see it. I don't know if I want to do the horse butt for Sagittarius or what. Like, we'll see. I'm hoping to, by pushing myself to do a, a big costume build every month, that uh, I'll grow a lot in my ability to build stuff. So, <laughs> make sure you make everyday awesome for you and everyone around you. I'll try my best, Cocoa Butter. <laughs> right on. Well, thank you, Jamie. That's a generous offer. But, uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to let you guys go and get <laughs> make Azmuth and Randy be the horse, but I would not make anybody walk behind me. I've been eating a bunch of salads, so I've been farting like a vegan. I have a horse butt costume on WoW. You do? Well, do you yeah, on really? WoW. I do. Wow. <laughs> it was one of the Halloween costumes you could get. Virgo like should be a month. breeze, so you could hopefully. Attach yourself to another character. You should <laughs> do hoof shoes. So I, didn't I just watched a video on that and tried to make some myself. I'm actually costume, doing hoof shoes I'm for this costume, the ram <laughs> costume, Sagittarius, um, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, and Azimuth actually drew up a really amazing design for uh, Cancer the Crab, too. So, can, do you want me to show or you want me to save it? I think we'll save it and okay. show behind the cool. scenes well, to our I patrons. <laughs> but, bye everybody. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we will see you 
in more videos. We're going to go have tea. Bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jim. Bye. Thank you so much, Jim, Pam, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Oh, okay. There it is. I found the button. <laughs>